Hi everybody, I'm Brian with Fort Knox Company and I'm gonna show you how to install a spare tire mount on your trailer so that you can be prepared on the road. So our current situation, we have this new boat trailer and for whatever reason, they do not give you a spare tire mount. I don't know if they're just trying to save a couple dollars, but a lot of these trailers are not coming with any type of mount to carry your spare. So we wanted to put one on just like this. I'm gonna show you how easy it goes on, maybe less than 10 minutes, a couple tools that you might need. And that way you don't catch yourself out there with a flat, having to call and wait. You can do it yourself and be back on the road. So this mount that we're going to be installing, this one is from Gadfish. I'll put a link for all these things there in the description. It is a spare tire carrier, or obviously a spare tire mount. With this, we're going to be needing a 16 millimeter, 18 millimeter, and a 19 millimeter. They give you some basic instructions, but I'm going to show you a couple different ways to do it. They basically walk you through it here, but you're going to have some long bolts to hold the bracket on. Shorter ones that are the studs that are going to be for the tire some washers, locking washers, and some locking nuts. And then they also give you a diagram back here to explain all the different tire sizes and bolt combinations that you might want to place so that you can line up with your wheel holes appropriately. Less than 10 minutes, let's get to it. So one of the first things you wanna do is figure out exactly where you wanna carry it. I wanted to keep our tire as far forward as we could because when you're lowering the boat trailer into the water, sometimes you need some of that clearance to paint on the launch ramp for the boat to be able to come up and I didn't want the tire too far back and having to run the boat into the tire. Also by keeping the tire as far forward to the connection to the truck, you can maintain some of that height or that clearance from the road. So just things to consider. We also have a collapsing tongue on our trailer. So I wanted to make sure that I could at least get that trailer tongue to 90 degrees so that I can clear the tire, but again, keep the tire far forward. So once I figured out the location, it's time to put the bracket on. I'm gonna start with putting the top bolts in, in the top of the bracket, and I'm gonna use both holes in the top because at the bottom, it may not line up exactly with the closest hole, so you may have to go one or two down. So start with the top two bolts, then go ahead and put the bottom two bolts in, tighten them by hand loosely so that we can make sure that the plates are parallel and perfectly flat to the trailer. Then you can start tightening cross corners like top right, bottom left, top left, bottom right. That way we just make sure that we get even pressure and the best connection possible. And now that we have that all done, we can move on to the last step, which is putting these studs into those front holes. Pick the combination that works for your wheel size. I have a 14 inch wheel, so I know I need to go on the top right, bottom left holes. So we've already got one bolt through and these nuts right here that they give you have a little locking in them, so they should tighten down well. We have an 18 millimeter on the back and then we have our 19 millimeter on the front. And as you can see, because these holes are slotted. You can adjust left or right because sometimes the alignments aren't exactly perfect. So you might need to adjust a little bit and then retighten it down so that these two bolts align with the holes on your wheel. So I'm going to put this one all the way to the outside. So I have the most room. We'll just go ahead and tighten it down. Just like that. So now we can test it out and see how it fits. See, I'm a little bit off right there. So what I'll do is I'll actually adjust this over. Just like that. Then we can go ahead and put the nuts on that they give you. With these, I'm gonna be using an 18 millimeter. Now we're tight. Now with these, they do offer different types of locking mechanisms that go over these bolts or these nuts that they give you. These are just basic nuts that they put on there, so it will hold it. But I would probably actually upgrade these nuts to something that has some type of lock with them, or I would put a locking mechanism that goes over them, which they do sell. I'll put links for those in the description there. I've seen a couple different models, so I don't know what the best one is yet, but I'm probably gonna try a few. Another way that you can make sure that nobody just comes up here and takes a wrench and takes these off is um, I've seen people put a cable tie through here with a lock like a padlock for like a bicycle chain and you can actually lock this to your trailer just just to make sure that nobody can come here and just pull it off without a little bit of effort and that is exactly how easy it is it took maybe all of 10 minutes even while filming this video so it's something that you can do yourself and save some money and like I already said you'll be prepared on the road we found ourselves recently on a trip got flat 
not just one flat we got two so i don't know if you want to double up and do two spare tires but you definitely could do that um it actually might not be a bad idea it's not too expensive and like i said we had two flat tires and even if i had the ability to change the first one i would still have to be calling somebody for the second one so i'd rather be prepared but uh you guys make that call let me know if you guys have any questions um if you haven't already please hit like and subscribe it really helps me out i appreciate all the love I'm really good at getting back in all my comments. So definitely, if you have any questions, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Otherwise, I'll see you guys on the next build.